Finland's story starts with decades of careful neutrality, a nation perched between East and West, carefully balancing diplomacy and defense. For years, staying out of conflicts wasn't just policy, it was survival. But then came the seismic shift, NATO accession. Suddenly, Finland wasn't just a neutral observer, it became a key piece in the alliance's northern strategy. Before the final decision, many expected Finland to choose the Saab Gripen EF. After all, it's Nordic-built, cost-effective, and ideally suited for harsh Arctic conditions. It seemed like a perfect match, familiar engineering, lower life cycle costs, and proven performance in extreme climates. Yet, in late 2021, Finland made a decision that surprised even seasoned defense analysts, the F-35 Lightning II. And that raises the question that defines this story. Why did Finland pick the F-35 over the seemingly perfect Gripen? This wasn't about price or tradition. It was about future-proofing Finnish air power. The F-35 offered advanced stealth, unparalleled sensor fusion, and NATO-wide interoperability that no Gripen variant could match. Finland was thinking decades ahead, not just next year. The choice signaled a bold new chapter. Finland was no longer just defending itself. It was anchoring NATO's northern air strategy. The F-35 Lightning II is far more than a fighter jet. It's a revolution in aerial warfare. For Finland, it's not just about speed or firepower. It's about information dominance. At the heart of the F-35 is its sensor and data fusion. This system collects inputs from multiple onboard sensors, satellites, ground radars, and even other allied aircraft, merging them into a single, crystal-clear picture of the battlefield. In peer-on-peer -peer engagements, where seconds decide life or death, this capability is priceless. Think of the F-35 as a flying command center. It doesn't just attack, it connects, shares intelligence, and coordinates in real time across NATO networks. Finnish pilots aren't just flying aircraft, they are nodes in a larger, alliance-wide brain, enhancing situational awareness for allies like Sweden, Norway, and the US. The long-term strategic payoff is huge. Finland is no longer an isolated operator. It's a fully integrated NATO partner capable of joint missions, rapid response operations, and coordinated defense across the Baltic and Arctic regions. This interoperability doesn't just strengthen Finland. It bolsters NATO's northern shield, sending a clear message. The alliance is ready, coordinated, and modern. For Finland, the F-35 isn't a luxury, it's insurance for decades to come. It guarantees relevance in the next generation of air combat while embedding Finland deeply into NATO's most advanced defense networks. In a world of evolving threats, information is the ultimate weapon, and Finland just armed itself to the hilt. Finland's F-35 fleet doesn't just upgrade its national air force, it reshapes NATO's entire northern air strategy. The Baltic Sea and Arctic regions have long been sensitive corridors, where even a small imbalance can ripple across Europe's security. With the F-35s in place, Finland suddenly becomes a key pillar of air superiority, capable of rapid detection, interception, and coordination with allied forces. These jets are not static assets. Through rotational deployments and joint exercises, Finland can project a credible, persistent deterrent. Any regional adversary thinking about testing NATO's resolve now faces a networked response that can react faster and strike with precision. The F-35s, in essence, extend NATO's reach and turn the northern flank into a highly secure zone. The real strength, however, lies in collective defense. This isn't just about Finland defending its borders. It's about integrating seamlessly into NATO's radar networks, command systems, and rapid response protocols.
The acquisition reinforces the alliance as a whole, increasing operational readiness across the region and solidifying the northern flank as a strategic bastion against potential threats. Finland's F-35s are a statement. The country is no longer a peripheral player. It's a core enabler of NATO's northern air dominance. By combining advanced technology with strategic integration, Finland ensures that its skies and NATO's remain protected, resilient, and forward-looking in the evolving security landscape. Before Finland's F-35 decision, the Saab Gripen EF was widely seen as the frontrunner. Its strengths were clear affordable acquisition and maintenance, operational flexibility, and a proven record in diverse climates, including harsh Nordic conditions. The Gripen could have delivered reliable performance without the high costs and complex logistics of fifth-generation jets. Had Finland chosen the Gripen, its defense strategy might have focused more on regional air dominance and cost-effective readiness rather than full integration into NATO's networked command structure. While still capable, the Gripen would have positioned Finland differently within the alliance, more independent, less connected, and potentially limited in interoperability with the most advanced NATO partners. Yet the Gripen is far from obsolete. Across Europe, Asia, and other emerging markets, Saab's fighter continues to thrive in niche roles, from tactical air defense to joint exercises and alliance frameworks. Within NATO, Gripens can complement F-35s by handling secondary air missions, training, or rapid response roles where cost efficiency and operational flexibility are crucial. The Gripen was a strong contender, and in many ways, Finland's choice of the F-35 wasn't a rejection of Saab, it was a strategic leap into the future. The Gripen will remain a key player globally, but Finland's path signals a focus on high-end, fully networked, and future-proof air power, prioritizing alliance integration and advanced capabilities over cost savings. Finland's decision to acquire the F-35 Lightning II isn't just a national story. It sends shockwaves across Europe. Suddenly, Air Force modernization isn't just about replacing old jets. It's about aligning with advanced, networked capabilities that define the future of warfare. Other European nations are watching closely, reassessing procurement strategies, and considering how fifth-generation technology reshapes deterrence and alliance interoperability. This move also shifts the balance of power in Northern Europe. Russia, long accustomed to projecting strength along the Baltic and Arctic, now faces an opponent whose airspace is monitored in real time and defended by stealth, sensor-fused aircraft integrated into NATO's broader command network. Finland's F-35s alter Russia's strategic calculus, forcing a rethink of Arctic deployments, air operations, and potential escalation scenarios. Looking forward, Finland emerges not just as a modernized air force, but as a central node in NATO's high-tech northern defense architecture. The F-35s position the country to lead joint operations, enhance regional deterrence, and contribute cutting-edge capabilities to collective security. In an era of rapid technological change and escalating geopolitical tension, Finland's air power is both a shield and a signal, a clear statement that the alliance's northern flank is secure, capable, and forward-looking. Finland has transcended traditional defensive thinking. With the F-35, it is no longer just protecting its borders, it is shaping the future of European air defense, sending a message to allies and adversaries alike. The North is fortified, modernized, and fully integrated into NATO's high-tech security network.